Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today, like always, it's Tuesday. So we're going to jump in right into it and we're going to cover the beautiful news that we got in this game right here. So let's see, we got a big boss battle that's coming with the Dragon Quest XI uh, collaboration. So let's see, three new highly difficult quests versus Wraith, Force of Darkness versus Indig Indignus and versus... Kalasmos. So let's see what we have to say here. So, uh, versus Raid Forces of Darkness, Malicious Killing Machine, Malicious Black Dragon. So let's see what Kupo has to say. The Malicious Killing Machine uses lightning, physical attack, and magic attacks that hit the whole party, Kupo. The Malicious Black Dragon uses fire, magic attacks, and, fi and physical attacks that hit the whole party, Kupo. It is difficult to hold out against the two of them together, so take out one, uh, take out one of them quickly to make things easier. Ooh, sorry, easier Kupo. Mission rewards, we're going to be able to get the uh, Uber Falcon Blade, which is an attack 130. It's a sword. Uh, enables Uber Falcon Blade, so normal attack hits two times and LB gauge fill rate. And boost LB gauge fill rate, which is pretty nice. And that's a strong sword. 130 is actually pretty, pretty good. So, the lightning damage three times or more to one enemy. Drazilian Guinea, so basically you get 10,000 of those coins. Clear without an ally being KO of 5% Moogle. And defeat the malicious black dragons party within 10 turns you get one summon ticket not that bad so uh versus indignus let's see what kupo has to say about indignus indignus is a powerful enemy skilled at fire and ice attack uh, as well as inflicting paralysis kupo you can make this an easy fight by using equipment or bringing along units with abilities and boost fire and ice resistance kupo it would be especially this disastrous disastrous for your party if you become paralyzed, so make sure to prepare your tank and healers with equipment to resist paralysis. Kupo. Thank you. Thank you, little mog. Then mission award. Uh, complete the quest. We get five Super Trust Moogle exchange tickets, which is really, really nice. Deal light damage three times or more to one enemy. You get another 10,000 Brazilian Guinea coins. <laughs> Clear without an ally being killed. You get a 5% Moogle again. And uh, defeat Indignus within 10 turns. You get a rare, rare 7 ticket. Then the last one versus Kalasmos. Let's see what Kupo has to say about Kalasmos. Uh, Kalasmos is a powerful enemy skilled at lightning and dark magic attacks. As well as special abilities that remove statuses. Kupo. Prepare methods of boosting fire and lightning resistance. As well as resistance to stop Kupo. After performing certain moves. It will use a strong all hitting magic attack to so pay attention to your enemy's action and use the tank as necessary to take on its magic attacks Kupo. Mission reward for this one, complete the quest, you get the Sacrosanct Staff, which is a rod, weirdly enough. Uh, attack 59, magic 128, magic 128, spirit 98, which is really, really high, uh, enables Sacrosanct Staff, boost physical and magic damage against demons. Hmm. If that's something around 50%, that's really, really good. Uh, especially if you bring this beautiful thing in the uh, Still Castle Melfi queue after. Deal fire damage three times or more to one enemy. You get uh, another 10,000 Brazilian Guinea coins. Uh, clear without an ally being KO, you get a 10% Moogle on this one. And uh, defeat Kalasmos party within 10 turns, you get another rare summon ticket. So that's going to be a really cool battle. Really, really cool battle that I can't wait. Then we get unit and troll quest, Furion. So yes, indeed, CG Firin is actually coming out, and he's not that bad. He's a pretty cool unit. Uh, it looks really good, and I gotta say, his limit burst is pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, these are the things you're gonna be able to, uh, to get, so complete the quest, you get 50 Lapis. Uh, I'm disappointed that they're not giving Rare Summon tickets anymore. Like those two Rare Summon tickets they used, they used to give by doing this. I'm disappointed a little bit that they're not giving it anymore. But it doesn't matter, because this guy's still a cool unit. And let's go right here. The Cyclone. Uh, it's going to be a Final Fantasy II event dungeon. Uh, it's going to start this Friday, which is pretty good. Uh, beginner's Quest, you get one rare summon ticket. And then the currency for the Minister Mog, because it's, it is going to be a Minister Mog event, is going to be Wild Roses. So you're going to be able to get Wild Roses and then exchange them to Mr. Minister Mog. Now, the one thing I can't remember exactly uh, in JP, I don't think it was with Minister Mog. I think it was with the King Mog, and you you were able to get some rare summon tickets. So hopefully, we're going to be able to get some more rare and four-star tickets from uh, the Minister Mog right here. So one of the things you can get, the Diamond Armor FF2, Attack 10, Defense 43, Spirit 5, 
And uh, boost lightning resistance by 20%. That's not that bad. The ice bow again. Another bow. Attack 99. Two-handed weapon. Ice elemental enables bird killer. So boost physical damage against avian monsters. And then you can get some wild roses. Some materials that they're not actually that strong. But you're going to be able to get a 5-star select summon ticket. Which is really, really good. And then you're going to be able to fight the captain and the golden bomb. As you go through the event dungeons. To give you a little bit more wild roses so that's gonna be not that bad and the boosted characters we're gonna be able to get Firion, his brother leon and basically guy and maria so hopefully you guys kept those maria in your uh unit in your unit uh box so wild roses Firion, and dark knight leon and i gotta say though uh, as much as Firion is a really cool unit dark knight leon for me is probably the best unit on this banner but personally i really like leon uh, especially in the city uh, and now uh, this guy right here he looks really really good he's more of a breaker and uh, Firion can deal a lot of damage but this guy's a little bit more of a breaker uh he's more on the uh, if i'm not mistaken the absolute mirror of equity chain and this guy is going to be on the stardust ray and divine ruination chain so let's see what we have right here so step up limited to four per players uh it's going to be twenty four thousand lapis on step one it's four thousand you get a nine plus two with, uh, I think it's a 10% Moogle right here. With uh, two guaranteed gold, which is not that bad. Then on step two, you're now uh, another 9 plus 2. And you have a 4-star guaranteed ticket right here. And on step three, like always, you get a guaranteed rainbow. Step four, uh, what is this? What is this right here? Uh, we're going to swipe this up. Uh, step four, you're going to be getting uh, the classic 90% blue ticket. Uh, right here and on step five you're going to be guaranteed either wild rose Firin or dark knight leon which is not that bad hopefully i hope for the best if you guys are summoning on this banner you guys can pull both of them on this step that would be really good or actually pull four of them on this step uh i'm still not sure if i'm gonna pull but uh let's see let's see let's see the tmrs first so super tmr for the boy wild rose Firin. Uh, it's a material weapon specialist boost attack by 60%, which is pretty nice and boost physical damage against humans and avion and stone monsters. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right here. Uh, let's go to trust master reward. Red sword attack 135, 200 weapon enables blood weapon drain HP when dealing physical damage. So that's not bad. Actually, if you put that on the character and, uh, he's constantly dealing damage while well, he's going to be always healing so that's actually pretty good then you get some global upgrade also so one use every seven turn for saber adver of adversity boosts own physical damage against humans and avions and monsters and stone most monsters damage one enemy two times and enables triple triple arms for two turns so this guy is more of a true double end character then defeating legends damage one enemy and boost physical damage against beasts demons and dragons for all allies whoa I think that's going to be around 25%, but that's still pretty good. Then Aerial Knife, deal wind damage and reduce wind resistance for one enemy and add wind element to own physical attack. So this one is going to be a Stardust Ray uh, chaining family. So I think he's able to imbue three elements, which is light, ice, and uh, wind, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, but that, you know what, let's just uh, open the wiki right here and see exactly what I'm saying, if it's true. We're going to go down right here. Thank God, Internet super fast. So basically, he can uh, imbue light, wind, and water element to his attack, which is not that bad, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Then we got the Dark Knight Leon, which is looking mighty damn fine right here. Uh, is Super Trust Master Dark Knight's Authority, which is really, really cool. Boost attack by 50% when equipped with a sword and boost attack by 50% when equipped with a heavy armor. So that's right here. That's 100% which is insane that's a really nice super trust master then you get a stress master reward the defender attack 135 enables shielding blade boost defense by 20 percent and chance of evading some physical attack i gotta say uh leon my boy you're looking pretty good right here then with the featured abilities they all get global upgrades also dark corruption damage one in me two times and reduce dark resistance uh, i think that's the one for uh 100 100 percent is it 100 percent so this this one chains with um absolute mirror of equity and uh, in the jp stats it was 120 percent imperil to dark resistance which is pretty strong pretty pretty strong 
Then he has dual dark technique, enable specific abilities to be used twice in one turn, activate one time each regardless of equipment condition. Then Dark Servant's Blade, one use every six turn, boost own attack. I think this one is 250% and uh, reduce dark resistance and damage an enemy two times. Let's see. Let's see if that's the one. Uh, dark Servant Blade. Let me check real fast. Uh, well, it's not saying here. Unless they change it. Uh, they probably change it because it's not saying here. Yeah, I guess they changed it. All right. So maybe it's going to be like a 250% or a 200% that would be really, really nice for this guy. I'm not going to go over Maria or Guy because they're old units and we don't need to know about these units. But I got to say, uh, I'm pretty excited about this guy because he's going to be more of a true dual. Uh, he's going to be a dual wielder. He's able to cap real fast. He got some uh, damage modifiers on him. And uh, this guy too looks really good. I'm really happy. So Final Fantasy 2 getting some love. Finally, that's going to be pretty nice. Then on the notices, we're going to go right here uh you guys saw those uh little 30 percent tickets so as you go through the step up you're going to be able to get four of those tickets and after you get four of those tickets you use them to basically summon and it's going to give you a 30 percent chance to get whether wild rose Farin or dark knight leon on uh those tickets then exchange shop like always as you're summoning you're going to get those beautiful little purple coins and you're going to be able to exchange them in uh, the banner exchange shop to maybe some prisms uh some tickets or all that good stuff. Then, whoo, guaranteed 5 star summon ticket. Uh, chance of getting the 5 star guaranteed special summon ticket this month. Event starting on the 4th. So basically, uh, as you go through the uh, Wild Rose event or the uh, Final Fantasy 2 event, I think it's 15,000 points. So as you're getting through, you get points, you collect points. And when you reach 15,000 points, you're going to get that beautiful ticket that you're going to be able to use. And hopefully... You guys can pull a unit that you actually want in this game. Then, monthly 5-star select summon ticket. I know a lot of you guys are looking for this one. So, we're going to be able to get one on uh, the 4th of October and on the 24th of October. So, that's pretty, pretty cool. So, guys, you know what? I got one ticket right here. We're going to finish the video on one ticket. And maybe, maybe we can pull a beautiful rainbow. Let's go, rainbow. Maybe not. So guys, like always, let me know down below if you're going to be summoning for those units. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. And we're going to end it up on Xon. Xon. I keep pulling this guy. I keep pulling this guy. But it doesn't matter because hopefully we can pull maybe Firion or uh, Leon this Friday. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below like I just said. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.